Hey, it's Katona. I'm here with Nathan and Matt from Coldwork Kids. Hey, guys. Hello. What's up? Thank you for joining us tonight. Excited to have you back in Milwaukee. Thank you for having us. So, Matt, I got to ask you. Mm -hmm. You got a pretty impressive t-shirt collection. Thank you. I want to know your system. Is it top of drawer, top of bag, or is it regional? Like, do you got a Violent Femmes t-shirt you could break out tonight? No Violent Femmes. Steve Miller band then, probably? <laughs> I have a Waylon Jennings one. <laughs> nice. But is it just random? No, it's. I'm really thoughtful about it. I, I'm really... I used to be, before the band, I used to be a uh, t-shirt Design? designer, yeah, yeah. So, I'm, but I've always loved t-shirts. Cool, cool. So it's just, you think it out, but it's not regional. No, once in a while it is. Cool, very cool. Yeah. What do you got on tonight there? Jean Dubuffet, an artist I like a lot. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. He's he's not with us anymore, but yeah, never the the nevertheless. Is. Yep. Well, we got you a little welcome to Wisconsin, early Christmas. St. Nick's present. Whoa. Great rap job. Is this something we should be opening on camera? I think so. Ooh. I think it's important. Open it. Ooh. Open it, Nate. Open it. <laughs> Man. Uh, what is it? Is it a book? Is it a CD? It was wrapped really well. I just cut my fingernail. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> back disc. Who could it be, really? Love it. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. I love that. Your LBC. Name is to be sold, not to be told. This looks used. Well, I mean. Even better. Wouldn't Which, you want it that way? Yeah. It's got history. Yeah, I think this, a price tag has been scratched off recently. We I, don't, wanted, I don't have this one. We wanted you to have it to think of the LBC. Thank you, yeah. And, you know, first is kind of like your gin and juice. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you say? People have <laughs> often said that. That's a parallel that's been driven, like, frequently, right? Yes. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Nope. All the uh, time. <laughs> we've, had the, we've had the pleasure of playing with Snoop a couple times now. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe two or three. Let's do a mashup of First Engine and Juice. Yeah. DJ Earworm, get on that shit. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah I, want, I want to get his artwork here. <laughs> it's pretty good. I didn't know that he put a record out on No Limit. That was a Master P executive produced. <laughs> the fact that you know that makes me really happy. Well, I mean... I didn't know we'd be talking about Master P, but I'm ready. Did you watch the uh, the um, NWA yes, movie? Yes. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, it's crazy that you know that he came from post Dr. Dre. Didn't know he got mm -hmm. into this family and then back out again. Yeah. So. And Master P's doing nothing. He's yeah. Doing is that so? Yeah. It's not even scratched either. Oh man, what a deal. You guys enjoy that Hang tonight. Hang it to dry and is like a big drop CD. it like it's hot. We're big CD guys. Um, oh, good, good. I mean, we were looking for the vinyl, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so first, obviously, huge. Um, you guys have had a huge loyal fan base forever, decade or so, you know. Um, but that really brought you to the next level. And I, I know that you've said in the past that that almost didn't even make it on the record. Yeah, it's true. Uh, we... We, we were done with the record, and we had this song, and we were finishing up some things because uh, we w we needed some B-sides, and we always like to kind of have material to, you know, think on later if we want to release it, and that was one of those things, like, let's just finish it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we played it for... Um, it was, This is like one of those things where it's it's... People have this story often. We have never had this experience where just finished that song and, you know, sent it around to the people we work with. Hey, here's another one, you know, and it was just like, and they were all like, oh, my God, this is a really, this is special, and it could be really a b big song, you know, yeah. and we were like, cool. <laughs> you know, and yep. It just kind of was like one of those, and, and in hindsight, it's, I think it's important to have that sense of like, you know, we just work and we write songs and um, work hard to record them and, and, and tour and do what we do, and, it, and it's not... Um, totally trying to uh, uh you know we're trying to be the best version of ourselves and do and, you know we do what we do so it's nice when something comes through like that um yeah. that is you know reaches a larger audience and Kinda has that bigger scope happened organically and yeah very cool well we love it here in milwaukee thank everybody you everybody loves it and we're so happy to have you here so thank you we appreciate thanks it thanks for taking the time to talk to us thank you thank you for having awesome. us yeah